portal website. Before you sign in, you have only two services here, Micromethian and Resource Library. Uh, there's nothing with, to do with panel management or Redis. So you have to sign in with the account that you have already registered for admin setup. So your you have more surface here. Uh, you have used you can see panel management and Redix here. We will go into panel management first because we need to do the enrollment here. Actually, there are three ways to enroll your panels. Um, I'll show them one by one. The most typical way to do it is to do it manually. So you just click on the dot 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 icon uh, from the top right corner okay here you have an enroll menu okay you just type enroll um, the first first way to do it is type it manually the second way is do it using a csv file that i will show you later on let me show you uh, how to do it manually first it's very simple just type in your, your the panel name you want okay so in my case it is vlp70 and then I just copy and paste my serial number to here. And then click next. That's it. And then wait for the um, uh, successful message. OK. So you are, now when you click done, you will see the VRP70 is defined here. OK. You will notice that the device management is Promethean here. OK. Uh, later on, we will try to allow Redix to do the uh, uh, device management. So uh, it is a later stage. Okay. So uh, next, I will show you the second way to do the panel enrollment. Right. Now we come to the second way to do the to enroll your panel. Okay. Previously, I just show you how to do it manually. This time, again. You enroll, you click the dot 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 and enroll. Um, this time we will try to do it through a CSV file. Okay. So first of all, you will you you, you may need to um, download a template first. Okay. I have already done so. Okay, so um, here is the the CSV file format. Okay, you just follow this format, you can just uh, type in all the panel name you you you, uh, you need to enroll here, and the serial number of them, and then they can do it in uh, do the enrollment in one go. Okay, so um, I'll just show you the same thing. Um, okay, for in uh, in this example, I have only just one uh, one panel need to be passed, but for this is good for example already, okay. So just type in the panel name and serial number and save it, okay. Drag the file here. And then click next. Process all the, all the panels are listed in the CSV file. Okay, you click done, you see the VLB70 is already enrolled here. Again, you can you can see the firmware, you can see the device default device management is by Promethean panel management. Okay, so uh, that's the second way to um, to do the enrollment. Start from here, okay. Uh, so um, from your mobile device, in my example is my mobile phone. I have already installed my Promethean uh, apps here. Okay, so I just click on this. Typically, when you are using screen share, you are using either I am a student or I am a teacher. But to enroll um, a panel before, you should use the uh, IT admin account to do this. Okay, so I just sign in. In my case, sign in my IT admin account. Okay. Okay. So you you you'll be shown in this screen to enroll your panel. 
Now I'm going to show you how to uh, enroll your panel using a panel management app on your mobile device. Okay. Now um, you are facing your panel need to be enrolled. This is the um, I'll enroll it as a B, um, BR B70. Okay. So from your from your locker, you find the panel management. Uh, the pen management uh, apps will show a QR code. Okay, remember I mentioned about the um, you just log on, log into your um, panel management app. Uh, the role as um, IT admin, I have already signed in here. So you will show this uh, um, screen. You just click and roll panel, and then facing the QR code. I need to get closer, okay. Now I can now I can type in the link as um V uh, hyphen uh B seventy okay that's it finish okay finish so in the screen you will see uh, there's a uh, notification that your panel has already enrolled. Okay. Next time, when you click the panel management again, it won't show you the QR code anymore. It will show you that this panel has already enrolled to this organization. That's conclude the third way to enroll a panel. Now we have already uh, enrolled our panel and then uh, as, you, as you can see in the screen the device management is by Promethean okay the next job we need to do is to um, to pass this control to Radix so that um, through Radix we can control our device uh, so we need to do the integration um, you just go to the integration at the left side uh, menu in the Redix, Redix tag here okay um, it is by default disabled now we will uh, click the uh, pencil icon to edit it, the status we can enable the Redix visual MDM from here we just slide the bar to enable okay but for for it, for this example i will just try to add to all panels and then click save now you check again with your your um your your panel now the device management has changed to Redix. That means this panel can be controlled uh, by Redix, uh, by Redix, okay, and by Redix MDM, okay. Uh, it is in the panel management uh, interface. You, you also you have already uh, in the last procedure. You just um, change convert. Uh, device management from Promethean to Redix here it's shown here okay now we can uh, start the Redix um, surface from my Promethean here okay also you have already registered uh, the uh, admin account for the Redix so you can log in from here okay I log in mine as an example So uh, it will show you the introduction, a quick tour on uh, by videos. If you are first time uh, see, uh, using this, I suggest you to spend some time to get an idea of how what uh, Redis can do for you. Okay, so I uh, just click on here and then I play a very short two minutes or so um, video clips. Okay. 
Now this is the user interface. Okay, from the from the people icon here, you will show that your account information. Uh, if you click on the account, you will see you have you the uh, credit account credits here. Uh, just a quick uh, explanation. For example, if you have a new panel, uh, you just uh, register for the Redix. You suppose you shown you uh, 365 uh, credits. Uh, denote uh, you can use it for 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 controlling this device for for a, for a year. Okay, we have uh, you you may notice that we have already done the enrollment in the panel management, but here you will see the device, but uh, the name for the uh, enrollment is not carried forward from the panel management. I'll show you. Okay, so um, so in um, within the Redix uh, visual interface. Uh, you may want to change the name to to be consistent to your panel management, like this. The device name you you may want to be uh, have a consistent naming convention like this. So you need to do it manually inside uh, inside Redix. So you just uh, the the only the serial number will be carried forward here from the hardware ID. You just look for the the, the your 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 device here. So I just click the pencil uh, icon, and then I will change to the name to VR V7 to be consistent with panel management uh, naming convention. And click the text sign. Now the name is changed. So I can just um, click on this to see the situation, uh, the status of this panel. So this is the memory, um, storage, internal storage, um, what Wi-Fi uh, 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 is it connected to, what apps uh, uh, are installed, etc. etc. Okay, we will cover more on the features uh, in the next video. Oh, so um, uh, pretty much the the, um, the preparation stage for Redix uh, is concluded here. Okay.